thank all of you for being part of this event. Friends, we are all working together, universities, colleges, UGC, to transform our higher education across India. You know that this is the third year of the launching of the National Education Policy 2020 on July 29th. This year, we will be completing three years. In today's program, we will first launch our main UGC website. This UGC website has been redesigned to make it more user-friendly, more informative, and dynamic. The information on this redesigned UGC website is categorized into um, different types depending on the type of stakeholder, whether it is a, a faculty member or student, university, college, depending on the nature of your uh, responsibilities, you can search in a focused manner for the information um, on the UGC website. We have also included uh, filters in the portal so that you can sort the information, you can filter uh, the information using uh, keywords so that the searching of the information becomes easier for you. Friends, uh, the new redesigned website also has uh, a list of universities, colleges, and so on. Um, you also have uh, details of various bureaus and the heads of these bureaus, their contact details on the portal. Whenever you have any query, you can write emails to our uh, bureau heads using the data that is available on our uh, website. And you will also find uh, all the regulations, guidelines, and notices um, issued by the UGC from time to time in a very organized manner in this uh, new website. Um, friends, let us launch this website. And I invite you, after we launch this website, to visit our uh, new UGC website, explore it. And if you have any feedback, any suggestions, please write back to us so that we can further improve our website. So I request my officers to prepare for the launch of the new redesigned UGC website. So let us uh, launch this website.
Yes, sir. Right, right. That that was a very good uh, website. Now let's uh, go to the other important uh, portal that we are uh, launching today, and this portal name is Utsah Portal. U T S A H, and it has a uh, it's a very good acronym. And this describes uh, the implementation of several reforms as part of the uh, NEP. This is called Undertaking Transformative Strategies and Actions in Higher Education, Utsah. And the purpose of this website is to collect data from all the educational institutions across the country on uh, the progress made in implementing the national education policy reforms. And there are 10 thrust areas in the national education policy. And under each thrust area, you will see um, a number of questions associated with um, the pace and the progress of the implementation um, of the national education policy. Uh, in starting from learner-centric education, digital learning, industry institute collaboration, academic research, internationalization, the implementation of the Indian knowledge system, and so on. And uh, this portal has been designed um, in consultation with uh, many educational institutions, uh, such as universities, colleges, even IITs, um, NITs, ISERs, um, many such institutions have been contacted and uh, a uh, draft version of this portal and the questions that we have included in this portal are shown uh, to many of our colleagues across the country. And after taking their feedback, we have finalized uh, this Utsah portal. Um, friends, you know that uh, in order to um, monitor how the NEP is being implemented. Collecting data is very, very important. And this data has to be collected in a uh, proper format. Um, and it is also your responsibility as uh, part of this transfer, transformative effort that we are all doing. It is also your responsibility uh, to log in to our portal and provide this information. Uh, related to the implementation of the national education policy. Um, this will help us um, in uh, better policy making and uh, improving our uh, uh, policies further for better implementation of the national education policy. We invite on behalf of UGC, all the educational institutions across the country to please register on our UTSA portal and uh, provide the data as you keep implementing the national education policy. Um, we hope that um, the launching of the Utsaha portal will be a significant milestone um, in our journey towards accessible, equitable, inclusive, and quality education in India. So friends, with your uh, uh, presence in this uh, program, let us now launch the Utsaha portal. Let us launch it now, right. Very nice. Uh, friends, after this program is over, uh, please uh, visit our uh, portal and uh, look around the portal, see what is the information that is found in this portal. And we request you uh, every month to please come back to this portal and provide the data, update, update the data, help UGC in monitoring how 
NEP 2020 is being implemented across the country. Friends, uh, you also know that uh, uh, UGC has introduced a new scheme called the Professor of Practice. The idea behind this is that our country has a huge talent pool, uh, experts pool coming from different professions. They are experienced uh, experts. Um, they have worked on the ground. So if they can come to the universities and interact with our students, our students will get a better picture of how it will be when they move out of the universities and work in the uh, uh, in the actual field. It could be an industry, it could be policy making, it could be an NGO, it could be an educational institution, it could be anything outside the educational institutional environment. Um, but however, if we want to invite such experts to join our universities as uh, professors of practice, uh, we have issued the guidelines and the universities know that they want to appoint the professors of practice. And there are huge number of experts across the country. They also want to go and join these universities. Um, but however, there is no common platform where the experts can actually register uh, so that the universities, interested universities can search for um, the experts from this data. And to fill up this gap, UGC has now designed a portal for the professor of practice. Um, on this portal, experts from different fields can register and view their um, biodata on this portal. And they can also see which universities are interested in appointing the professor of practice on this portal and approach them um, giving information about themselves. And similarly, the universities can register on this portal and using various filters, uh, such as the, uh, the domain area or the region from which the, uh, the experts are uh, coming from, using various kinds of filters, you can actually identify uh, the uh, experts and invite them to join as professor of practice um, in your educational institutions. And educational institutions can also upload advertisements related to the appointment of the uh, professor of practice on this uh, portal. So what we are planning is that after this portal is launched, we will also be writing to various uh, industry bodies such as FIKI, CII, and so on. We will also be writing to many industries and other organizations to encourage them to register on our portal so that over a period of time, we will have a huge pool of uh, professionals, uh, experienced uh, 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 professionals who are part of this portal. And universities can then search and invite them to appoint as professor of practice. And this portal will also provide us information to UGC information on how many professors of practice are being appointed, in which areas they are being appointed. And this will help us in providing a kind of uh, handholding to both universities and the experts ex across the country to make the professor of practice scheme a great success, benefiting the students across the country. So let us now launch the professor of practice portal. Let us launch it now. Thank you. 
A lot of effort has gone into making these three portals. Uh, I must thank my colleagues at UGC in different bureaus uh, for giving their inputs, especially uh, the IT cell uh, bureau, uh, Dr. Uh, Madhukar, Maruti Vaware and his team, uh, Infibnet, and many others have uh, contributed to the development of these portals. And I would like to express my thanks to all of them. And also colleagues, thank you very much for joining in this mm -hmm. important uh, event and for providing your support uh, to the launching of these three portals. Thank you. Thank you very much. Namaste. Namaste.